Now, one thing that I wasn't excited for, getting excited for, very, very much so, but I'm still a little hesitant because of, you know, stuff that happened with the main person, um, but that is The Flash, which is now filming. They started filming on Monday. Hallelujah. That means we have not one, but two DC movies filming right now with at least like two others in post-production with The Suicide Squad and The Batman. Shazam's going to be filming soon-ish. It's just, mm-hmm. just, 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 just good that we're getting stuff in production again. Now, with the announcement that they're filming, They also released the logo for the movie, and there's actually quite a bit to glean from this information-wise, not just, hey, look, it looks cool. So it's warranted talking about it here. Um, People will just be like, well, they just revealed the logo and called that, said it's The Flash, which I know some people are just like, what's with DC naming everything just with a the, The Batman, The Flash, The Suicide Squad, but I'm going, Flash... As almost, at least when I read comics, he's not called Flash. He's called no. The Flash. So, like, yes. the the here makes sense. Um, yeah. But looking at this logo, I think it's awesome. But also mm-hmm. gives us just enough of a hint of what to expect. And also, I'll be honest, kind of makes me think we're going to get something that I didn't think we'd be getting this soon. But I'll dive into that in just a second. Um, Josh... You see that the Flash is going into production, and you see the logo. Thoughts? Yeah. Like, let's go. Finally. Like, I think yeah, you and I are the same uh, thought process. Like, like, just, just, just come on. Stop. Stop with the, all the speculation, and and give us, you know, give us something. Give us something to to, to bite into. <laughs> um, or choke into. Yeah. Mm, nope. Or choke into. <laughs> nope. That's just the main actor. <laughs> Anyway, uh, but I like the logo. I mean, it's it's got a, an interesting amount of yellow for someone who, when he runs, has blue blue streaks. That's interesting. Hmm. Hmm. You don't know how excited <laughs> I got with how much yellow is in this because I genuinely still, to this day, do not get Zack Snyder's decision to make his streaks blue instead. I'm like... You're just making it different just to be different because in speed terminology with the speed force, blue is like the fastest. That means he can't get any faster than this. So like starting a very new flash off with blue is basically like saying, well, he can't get any faster than this. He can't get any better than this. But also when I think of flash running, I don't think blue trails. I think yellow trails. So seeing the yellow lightning bolts i'm just like oh thank god like this is a close-up of the flash suit that we've seen in concept art that we've got here that they released at fandom last year i don't know if we're doing a fandom this year if we do i actually kind of expect some reveals this year um i'm i'm digging the suit i think i'll like it a lot more than the snyder suit which is still uh, i've gone on record saying i think the flash suit in justice league is single-handedly one of the worst comic book costumes i've ever seen not not comic book costumes it's one of my least favorite comic book costumes i've ever seen i hate it so much i think it goes against everything that works for the flash in terms of i think snyder loves injustice which is cool but he went too hard in the injustice armor type because even in the injustice games he's got like shoulder and elbow pads not full body armor yeah Um, but tell me the the actual lettering of this movie doesn't look oddly familiar to a uh, flashpoint text. It looks like the exact same font with like the yellow trim. The lettering looks almost identical to flashpoint, which is the story that this is supposedly heavily based on. Now here's where your boy is going to read way too much into this. (laughs) Um, we know that the suit that he wears in this, the the good Flash suit this time, will be given to him by Ben Affleck's Batman. Kind of like Tony Stark giving Peter the spider suit. This emblem makes me think we're going to get something that I didn't think we'd ever get. And if we did, it would be further down the road. I think his suit's going to come out of the Flash ring in this movie. 
that middle piece and the way they had it extremely close up, like the fact that they started from the side and then rotated to the front, looked a little like a close up of a ring, of a flash ring. I think his suit's going to come out of the flash ring at at least, if not the beginning when he gets the suit, at some point, I think we're going to get the flash ring in this movie. No. No, they wouldn't. They wouldn't. Dude, we're getting Starro later this year. I guess anything's possible then, yeah. Um, I think my... I can, <laughs> my issue here is more... Um, if I don't want Batman to give it to him. Like, the Flash is a smart guy. I mean, say what you want about that, or that Snyder suit. He still built it himself. So, I mean, I I don't know. I go back and forth on it. I, I just, he's he's a smart guy, and if he's, if we've already established, like, he built literally almost a space suit that can withstand, you know, going light speed, which is an accomplishment, to say the least. I, I don't see why him being able to fit a suit in, you know, like a, in, in a ring is that outside of, also i just like his more aerodynamic suit anyway it's just more of what i know my question is in at least in the concept art for this and the one where he's standing next to michael keaton's batman which it's all but confirmed that michael keaton is in this he's set to be in london for filming later this week will it have the white eyes i'm obsessed with the white eyes for my superhero suits even though they never do um if you want to make me even more excited than i am for robert pattinson's batman we know he's going to get his suit destroyed at some point in the movie. If his final form suit is dark blue with white eyes, I will literally die of joy. And then the end credits is, Master Wayne, are you going to see the performance down on the pier tonight? Ooh. But getting back to Flash, um, I think this is a step in the right direction. I'm getting yeah. this... I wasn't overly excited for Flash just because it's been stalled for so long. I feel like it was supposed to come out in 2018 or 2019. It's just been delayed so many times. And I'm yeah. still not sold on Ezra Miller's Flash. I think he's he's too he's still at least to me too bumbling and awkward. But maybe it's a man unsure of himself. He's not a forensic scientist yet. Um but even yeah. then like Flash that I know, at least Barry is not the comedic relief character. Wally is definitely more of the comedic character. Barry's not, like, emotionally distant, but he's about as funny as Superman is. So, like, they'll have their moments, but it's typically, like, a Green Lantern that's more funny or a Wally, uh, as opposed to weird ADHD type of thing, which Zack Snyder has openly said that he's ADHD in this movie. Well, cool? Okay. He also really likes hot dogs, but we won't get into that today. I, I really do think the Flash Ring is there. I think it's cool that this text bears more than a little resemblance to the Flashpoint text um, from the original comic. And the yellow lightning bolts make me so, so happy. Mm -hmm. And also, uh, it wasn't said by Andy Muschietti, at least with this when they said they were filming today. But he has gone on record saying that... um, I don't put this gently. Ezra Miller will run differently in his movie. Like, his technique won't look like an awkward ice dancer because at least for me i thought that was one of the worst things like flash is cool like flailing awkwardly and zach and i would be like well he trained with like actual um ice skaters to learn the technique i'm like doesn't help when you're watching in slow motion he looks like a moron if you want to train with somebody train with tom cruise um it's, it's just the little things Also, I know people are saying, like, this could be a continuation of the Snyderverse or whatever and reset everything like Rebirth, but the Snyder stuff still happened. And Zack Snyder has said there's this whole big plan that we had of, like, everyone would get their solo stories and then would come back for Justice League and everything else. Then why does Aquaman not feel like it's connected to the Snyder movies? Why does this feel like it's not connected to the Snyder movies? Just let... Yeah. Why does Shazam feel like it's not connected to the Snyder movies? Just let directors do their own thing, which is what I think Warner Brothers wanted and why they did let go of mm-hmm. Zack Snyder is because he wanted to basically do the Dark Knight trilogy, which is fine. But if you want to build this whole world, 
you can't say these characters, these characters, and these characters are off limits because I want them for my story. And if I don't know what to do with them, Jimmy Olsen, I'll just kill them off. Like I, yeah. I get the wanting to do standalones and I'm very excited for this standalone now. Yeah. I mean, and anytime that you, a studio can actually put some good creative material in the hands of a good director and be like, yeah, so tell the story and not have to be like, so this director did this and this, so you're going to have to acknowledge this. Uh, and like, you can't tell a story outside of this window. Like it, I think that's a good thing to me at least. Oh yeah. 